Hello, hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome again from a place full of nature and wildlife. We're now in the Grand Kruger Lodge and we're gonna explore the Kruger Park today. We did explore it six years ago as well, but now we're apparently in a park with a lot of wildlife, even more. You will see a lot of wildlife again, I guess. But I also think that you will see the bird nerd, which is my dad. <laughs> and the problem is, when your father is a bird nerd, you become a bird nerd as well. So today we're entering at the Crocodile Bridge Gate. And my dad doesn't believe somehow that we're, we can just stand in this line. So he's now walking to the reception because he thinks that we have to buy tickets in advance. But I think we can buy it there as well. I don't know, maybe he's right. Since I'm waiting, I just want to tell you guys that I'm so happy with the subscribers so far. I've had like 100 subscribers per week, which is just crazy for me. And still maybe for YouTube terms, I keep on saying it, it might not be a lot, but I think actually that it really is a lot. And I really wish to, to show you more adventures and more of the beautiful side of the world throughout these vlogs and these videos. So I really, I truly want to thank you for subscribing and um, yeah, I, uh, I'm trying to keep it up. Thanks for the support, seriously. All right, so just to show you a bit, this is the southern part of the Kruger Park. Oh, right, yeah, so six years ago, I actually stayed around this gate. This is also a beautiful area for what I can say, but we're now staying here and we're entering at the Crocodile Bridge. And apparently this part, so this is really near the border of Mozambique, this part is full of wildlife. Yay! Okay, we were both right. You can either do it at the reception or when you're standing in the line with the car. Okay, before you actually enter the park, it is very wise to do one thing. Go to the siding board. Is it called siding board? Sidings board. It's like a board where all the rangers and stuff, they put down what they saw for the last time and where. That can be very helpful in spotting wildlife. Okay, so as you can see, the line has the green color and now we are here and here's a lion and here are lions. And we also have, what is this? A wild dog. That's about it for now. <gasps> So the nice thing about being a bird nerd, <laughs> bird nerd. Is, is that uh, all the cars in the back will stop as well and then they ask you, what do you see? A bird. A bird. And then they drive along. <laughs> and then they're like, oh. oh so now we have 10 cars behind us just because we're watching birds. <laughs> <laughs> legs how they walk <laughs> South African uh, zebra crossing Restaurant is amazing. You have views over the river, so you can see 
hippos everywhere. Probably one of the most unique restaurants I've ever been. My dad is writing down what we all saw. Basically because you see so much, it's crazy. How long, how long were we gone? Like three hours. Okay, about three hours. We saw so much, so much already, and it's like only one morning, one little morning. This park, this area of the park is amazing, especially driving uh, alongside the river, and then this restaurant, and how we started. It's a beautiful area of the park. But now uh, we're suffering already from the... Stent Hall. Stent Hall. The Stent Hall Syndrome. Can you explain? To the viewers what that is? Stenter was a writer. I don't know when he lived. I believe in the 18th or 19th century. And when he went to uh, Venice for the first time, he was overwhelmed by the beauty of all he saw. So the buildings, the art. And he became sick of all the beauty. <laughs> that we call the syndrome of Stenter. You are sick of beauty. You are sick, sick, so of beauty. sick of beauty. And this is Beautiful. the same. Now we see it like that. Even even a vulture is beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, whoa. Correction, it was uh, uh, for Firenze. Firenze, not, it's not, 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 it's not uh, Venice. Venice. All right, and so our expedition continues. That's the downside of lions is that they're so lazy <laughs> that you can't make a normal video or a picture. Wow, what an imposante dieren zijn het toch ook? Nou, dit is helemaal bizar. Ze zeggen wel eens van nou je moet je ballen tellen laten zien. Nou, dat doet alleen dan wel. Ja. <laughs> Oh no! We're trying to save you! Oh f He's going under our car! Yes, he is! Oh f Fuck! Hij zit nu onder onze auto! Oh my god! Ja, hier zit hij! Oké, okay. als ik naar rechts rij, ja, dan, 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 dan moet hij veilig zitten. Ja, precies. Met, meteen naar rechts. Ja. Oh, please, don't we kill the turtle. Ja? Ah, goed. Oh ja, oké. Okay. Oh my god. Er is een big bus coming now. Yeah. Let's hope the best for that little turtle. Oh my goodness, you guys, this day we saw more today than we did six years ago over three days. I forget. This day, I don't have any words for it right now. I also noticed when I was editing the uh, the vlog for the Slushlui part where we also did the safaris it's so hard to actually capture what you see I for sure need a different camera I need better lenses to be able to make good vlogs from these kinds of trips I know that now I'm also dying to get a drone and like other cameras just in general to make better vlogs because I really enjoy making them but I also want to capture what I actually feel, you know? And it's really hard to capture that with this camera, I guess. In general though, except when you're planet Earth, it's very hard to get that actual feeling of true and utter nature on camera. I, when I saw the rhino with the baby rhino this afternoon, I just had the same feeling that I had six years ago when I saw an elephant for the first time. I don't know how to say that in words or put that in a good video, you just have to experience it. While you're just sitting there in the car and 
there's this crazy, enormous animal with so much power and so much strength. That's, that's pure nature for me. And somehow it's just so beautiful that I truly wish for you guys as well to actually experience it one day because it's just for me, uh, yeah, I can't compare it to anything else actually. It's just, um, yeah, one of those days that you will never forget. Okay, so let's say cheers to this wonderful day. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this vlog. Anyhow, I will do my best in the near future to make better ones, especially of these kinds of trips. And I also hope to see you in the next vlog. Thank you for watching. Bye!